Third condition would be a, a mylar. Right. Okay. All right. I'll add that to my previous motion of the deed and the taxes. Now, I'm, now I'm I'll second it. Any discussion? No discussion. I'll call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carried. Mr. Sawyer. On case number 17-2, PLM, Matt Schultz, Career 25, Water Village Road, Tax Map 5A, 258, Lot 11, is requested a boundary line adjustment with Daniel and Denise Carl, 31, Water Village Road, Tax Map 258, Lot 12. You may present your case, sir. Well, <clears throat> this is my wife Cheryl. I'm Matt Sawyer. Uh, I've been working with Laura trying to get this the application correct. I hope I don't know if it's been accepted or whatever that we got everything all in order. But very simply, from our piece of land, we'd like to be able to convey from the west side a piece of property 75 feet wide by 300 feet long to the ad uh, adjacent neighbors here. So I think we've got everything all in order with a surveyor and everything, and I hope you will approve it for us. You have the deed in here, Matt, right? What's that, Connie? You have the deed. The deed's right, but everything I gave for it's on the back. Mm -hmm. I make motion that the application be accepted. I second. Any discussion? Seeing no discussion, I call for a vote on the application acceptance. 
Those in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Make a motion that the boundary line adjustment as presented has met all the requirements. And we approve it. I second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Right. Motion carries. This is the way you have it now. Thank you. I just want to say that um, I, Laura really helped me out doing all this, doing the legwork and all this, and I've been there three, four <coughs> times, and it's been a lot of fun doing it with her and all this, so I appreciate everything. And I wondered if I was going to see you here tonight, and I figured I would. I, I know it took a lot of courage. And if you need something in the next few days, you let me know. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'll look for your snowflake later. Oh, yeah, 
the application and the checklist is complete. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion is carried. You can't stop up, sir, and explain what that wants to do, which we know anyway. <laughs> well, first and the only thing, the only thing I would require, if this is approved, that he has some type of problem. Uh, We need something that we can sign okay. as a planning board to give the approval to it. And that might be? It could be something like this. But we have to accept the waivers, too, that you're requesting. A little bit bigger with the signatures of block. Right. Okay. So you, you were asking me. You were asking for an amendment to the existing site plan, though, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Should be a problem. Right, yeah. yeah. So on this land. Yeah. There's no, no zoning on this. It's right. Right. violated. No, no variance is needed yeah. for anything. No, it's not good enough. No, well, isn't this good enough? It's it's good. Fine. Uh, fine by that hand. does not have to be registered, right? Mm. Okay. Uh, that, that will be fine. 
Okay, so oh, yeah. adding a signature block to that would be. It fine. has a signature on the back. Okay. Of the second one. Yeah. Anyone want to look at the original site plan? It's right here. No. I'm fine. All we want to do is return the 20 by 40. He was approved for a 16 foot extension on the 20 by 40. And. not going to work for him and he's requesting another 10 feet. So, uh, I think they did a good job with the uh, previous site plan. Right. So he is requesting a waiver from the requirement of five sets of 24 by 60, uh, 36, which is Under three planning <coughs> designs and ten copies of the 11 by 17. I so move that uh, we grant the waiver. I second that. Any discussion on the waiver? All those in favor? Aye. Motion is carried. So basically, you want to put up a 50 by 50, is that correct? correct. And you can have it. We have all the deeds. We have the original. And I find that uh, everything should be approved. <coughs> I make a motion that we approve the removal of 20 by 40 and replaced with a 50 by 50 building. Second. Second. Motion is made. Second. And any discussion on it, please. Mr. Chairman, can I ask the uh, applicant one question? Yes. Um, are there any um, bathrooms or anything in the new building proposed? No, we're not planning to have a bathroom in the new building. The um, building immediately next to it has a bathroom in it. In the office building? Yeah, in the office building. And um, floor drain? Uh, no, I, I don't think we could. I don't think anybody's going to allow us to put a floor drain in there. You can put a floor drain in if it is open to the air. Okay. Um, All right. But and one more question. But I don't believe <coughs> we have running water inside the building. We are going to have running water and heat. Okay. Just Any a other? simple propane mm -hmm. wall mounted space here. Well, is there any other discussion? I move for a vote. All those in favor? Opposed? Motion is carried. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So, just, do you still need a. No. 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 You don't need a sign. I'll shut up. Laurel <laughs> <laughs> move. I'll send you a letter of decision. The only thing you have is so many complaints in 30 days that. <coughs> They can ask for a rehearing through the ZBA. Okay. Which nobody will, but I have to tell you that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone.
motion on the application and the checklist. That's complete. That's complete. I'll make it. Second. Motion has been made second to the application of the site plan review and checklist are complete. All those in favor? Motion carries. We need a motion on the waiver next. Next you have to have a waiver. I mean um, motion. No. So they will have to explain why they want the waiver. I agree, right? And um, Now, 
okay if I use the easel over here? Yeah, yeah sure. Cranston, I'm with Bowler Engineering, representing McDonald's this evening. Uh, this is a remodel program. They're actually doing this to all of their um, existing restaurants in New England, uh, basically giving the site and the building a facelift. Um, we're here for a minor project, site plan review due to the, the magnitude of the project. Uh, this is a survey of what's out there today. Um, obviously, there's a, a drive-through operation that happens. This is where the existing menu board is. It's one menu board. It's one of the older ones. It's like 50 square feet. Um, I'm also highlighting the um, these structures in the back. There's a trash enclosure in the back corner. Then there's a cooler, and there is a, a shed in the back corner as well. The building today has a 34 square foot McDonald's sign on the front. I'm only mentioning that because we are going to be replacing that. And the site has 43 parking spaces, which is more than enough and what zoning requires. This is a um, the site plan that's proposed, that's colored up, overlaid with what's out there today. The lighter shade is the existing building footprint. The two darker areas represent the two small building additions that are proposed as part of the remodel. Up front, there's a 245 square foot addition for the dining room area where there will be some additional seating added. They would be adding 13 seats. However, if you're familiar with the site, there's an outdoor patio mm -hmm. out there with outdoor seating. In the end, there's actually going to be less seats. End of day. There's 18 seats outside. Yep. One question is that sure. patio or cement? I believe it's either brick or cement. I don't know. I mean, if it's cement, it's part of that building now. It is cement. So, it's impervious, I know that. <clears throat> no, but I mean... In terms of size. It, no, it makes a difference. It, we do not have to give you permission. Steve has to because it is part of the original site plan. Okay. So that it's not an addition per se because you're building in the same... You're building on that footprint. Okay. Mm -hmm. so I'm not sure what the differences in area are, but well, I mean, it's in the general area. Uh, and your other addition on the back. Yep. So that's um, new, complete, completely new. That's completely new. Okay. Uh, that's more for storage and for operations use, and that's 205 square feet in area. There's no spin out there, right? No. Part of it's cement because there's some doorways with a walkway, but not the entire area. It's not. The walkway is not part of the building. Yep. Um, we are going to be reconfiguring this area. It's going to be this, generally the same layout. There's going to be a new trash enclosure in the back, uh, composite boards. It's going to look, look nice. The, the cooler and the shed are going to get moved. Right now they're kind of encroaching towards the abutter, so we're going to pull everything uh, closer to the site. How far off are you on your uh, The existing condition looks like it's about two feet to shed. And we're going to move it. It's going to be about 10 feet. Steve, so we're improving, improving that. Question on the shed. Now, is that the boundary line now? I mean, This is actually a lease line, I believe. This property is part of this overall shopping center. Mm -hmm. It's one lot of record, isn't it? Is that? It's, oh. it's one lot of record, right? Yeah. I don't like it. It's, yeah, it's yeah, our record shows one lot of record. This is a lease. I would yeah. think we're all They would be part of the whole that. lot. I understand they leased that part, but is that, he said, he said that they were moving it back from the boundary. It's a lease which, boundary. It's a lease boundary. Yeah. Yes. Which makes a difference. Okay. I'm not a, it's not a lot. Uh, it's not a lot. Line. Lot line. Right. No. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's also going to be some improvements to the ADA. 
on outside the building. Um, some of the uh, slopes out here were non-compliant, as were the walkways. So we're going to put in new concrete walkways, ADA compliant. Also, they have a new uh, menu board feature that they put out there. Again, right now the existing menu board is pretty big, it's 50 square feet. They now have a digital menu board, it's literally half the size. It's virtually a, a TV screen where they can change the menu uh, between the different meals that they have. Mm -hmm. um, so that's shown in blue here. It is moving back a little bit, but it's in the general, same general area. Um, the improvements overall are actually reducing the amount of impervious, so we're not going to affect stormwater in any negative manner. And then on the front of the building, there will be a new uh, 34 square foot sign, similar to what's out there now. Just I should new file. Right. New right. <laughs> so we will file for a sign permit <coughs> for that. Um, the building, the exterior is going to get a facelift. Uh, the mansard roof is actually going to go away. That's the older style. Uh, their newer buildings now are more modern in architecture, so that older sloped roof will, will, will come, come down. And then they'll extend uh, the wall up, extend the parapet up, put clapboard siding, and um, put new paint on it. The, the, basic, the, the footprint of the building is the 205 on the Kelowna, and the, I forget the number, 245 up the front where the patio is are they going beyond that concrete or is it within that concrete they're going to be on the concrete the way so it looks but if they is the new addition going to go beyond that i don't believe so no okay so they're in the same footprint it's actually mm -hmm. the same smaller. footprint on the front. It's actually smaller. Okay, so that's good. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. And that's noted on the plans as pavers, not concrete. So they're first pavers today. Um, drawing C3. Be removed. The existing yeah. pavers, not pavement. No, I said pavers. He said pavers. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I thought no, you said no I'm sorry. He said pavers. And it's nice to see a set of architectural plans. Because <laughs> they had an architect on board already. That's all the pavers. It's not by the footprint. So, other Moving the uh, trash and, and the freezer, and basically just remodeling the building. Is that correct? Correct. Um, some of their facilities, they actually implement a side by side, which is a dual drive through feature mm -hmm. based on the volume. At this site, they don't really need to do that, so it's going to stay single. But yeah, it's it's literally going to look like the same site, just a, a facelift. It's going to look like a new, a new construction, actually, once they're done. Yes. This has nothing to do with the plan, but. Right where that arrow is, just about okay, this way a little bit, there's a light. Okay. And when you come off of Route 25 and you come to the T at 16, that light is right in your face. And when the weather's bad, it's brutal to try to see it from right there. So, yeah, but is that on their land, Sam, yeah, or is that Yeah, on? No, it, no, it's on their land. It's on, it's on the ground. It's right as you come around the corner. Is it these two lights? Right, no, it's right here. It's right here somewhere. It's right here. Right here. Yep. If you so just right drive here. down there, um, this is the driveway. Okay, so where's 16? Okay. I mean, 25. You drive over to your left. Yeah. So Wherever you come out, if you drive down there, there's a light. It's right in your face. Right. Hmm. Is it on the McDonald's? You're looking right at it, yes. It's not, it's I don't not know what, street, it may be though. just a ground look, but it's, it's pretty bright. All I ask is if I can get in another direction. Is it a flag light? Is it what? Is it a light for the flag? I don't, I don't know what it, I see it at night. I don't see it in the daytime, so it's hard to place exactly where it is. 
Yeah, you know, the flag's over here. No, nope, it's not. It's, it's right by the driver. There's a clearance right. bar. Is there a light on that? There is. But, it's but that would be changed with the new plan. Okay. Okay. So yeah, if that's the same light, then that would go. Yeah. It's difficult to see when you come off at the end of 25. There are some lights on the side of the building, I believe, also. This that is would, low. That would get redone as well. Yeah. They would do LED yeah. now. Do we have any other discussion or questions? Mm -hmm. Sam, do you want to make a motion to correct, the, to correct that light? Um, well, if they're going to change all the lighting on that corner, are you going to change it all LED on that corner? They're going to change it anyway, so it comes any physical. The building lighting will change. The site lighting, those are not being changed. So again, I don't know which light you're referring to, but if site pulls with double head fixtures, shoebox, like you know, in a shopping center, mm -hmm. those are not. So all I those shouldn't be shining that way because those are shining down. When you so come it must out, be the building. When you come out of 25, it's right in your face. <coughs> it's driver height. I mean, it's not that it's okay. high so or it's low. low. It's driver height. Okay. Is there is there by any chance a light on the uh, the menu board? That I know light. it's internally eliminated. Yeah, uh, but nothing up on top, like the like the sidewalk no, or anything. That, unless yeah. something was added. No, I don't I don't but that's that. all being changed, correct? Yeah. No, that's not being changed. No, the, the menu know, board's going almost dark, so you can drive down there. Okay. But um, I'd like to see that light taken out of there. Well, I'll ask the operator to look into it. We'll okay. see. I'll we make can figure out what that is. Um, my name is Bob Benson. I'm currently the area supervisor for the restaurant. Um, I work for the Napoli Group. Who is the owner operator of the restaurant? Uh, if, I if never knew not, how to get a hold of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, car, that would be great. Okay, I'll look at it and, and uh, tonight I can drive back down there and look at it. See, I think I'll. You say coming down 25 you at the come light. Out of 25 at the T to 16. Yep. It's right, strict, right directly mm -hmm. right in front of you. That right. might be on Melville Park. No, it's on McDonald's. Though. 25 is my daughter started working and she was going to improve myself. Let's just move on. Let's, he's going to take care of it. That's just going to happen. Boyd just brought up a point, and I will put it to the board that his daughter is now working at McDonald's, <laughs> which would, in my opinion, has no effect on this. But I will take the opinion of the board. I don't have a problem. Anyone have a problem? Excuse yourself, darn it. <laughs> I'll go stand no, in the car. No problem. <laughs> you sit in the corner. <laughs> no problem for me. No, no problem. Do we, hear, do we hear a motion sure. on the case number? Well, that one. 17.8. 17-8. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Roy made the motion to approve. Any more discussion? All second. You third and third. If there is no more discussion, then I call for the vote. All those in favor. Motion carries. Okay. Thank You're you very on. much. Appreciate it. Just, just out of curiosity, what's the time frame when you once you start? Um, so they do have groundbreak scheduled for most of these. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but I'm assuming we're going to be filing for a building permit probably within the next week or two. What's the well, you have 30 days, sir, that someone can appeal this. Okay. So we may file, but we won't get a permit. We'll have to wait. Well, no, you can get your permit. Okay. But if somebody yep. appeals in the 30 days. Stop. No, you don't have to stop, but you will. Get your own risk. If the ZBA turns you down, okay. you're, you're a dead in the water. So. Okay, 30 days. Got it. Right. From tomorrow. So, the actual construction period duration. Um, so, this one with the addition, it might take a little longer. If there wasn't an addition, it's like a seven week window, okay. so maybe it's no more than two months. Yeah, okay. It'll be open. Um, they will try to do most of it when it's. When it's open, there will be times when they might have to shut it down. 
Um, the interior usually gets a remodel too, so mm -hmm. the finishings, new tile. So yeah, there will be some periods where that works. <coughs> they have it down to a science now because they're doing these numerous Everywhere. sites. Thank you. Thank you. Great. If you could pass your signs down to sign it. Meanwhile, while we're sorry, getting our signs away. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. The ball went from the tax map 132 lot 9, which is located on Route 28, which is here to discuss it and what Richard would like to do. So one of you can step up and tell us what you'd like to do. Back over there. Okay. 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 State name for record. Yeah, uh, Nick Leganis with Carroll County Construction. Um, so Richard's asked us to ask you guys about getting a site plan amendment. Um, originally the building was a lot loud, larger 
now he's looking to build basically a 40 by 60 workshop conventional frame truss roof um, in replace of that building that was on the original site plan. Exactly what we talked about. At the intersection. Right, before the intersection of 171, where all the big trucks are. Oh, okay, I know where you are. Thank you. By the road track, and over past. Yeah, where the hot house was for a while. Yes. When, where Richard still got his. Right. <laughs> dump. Yeah. So he's basically looking to just clean up the lot, build a workshop that he can pull the trucks in and work on them in the winter and so forth for himself. Was he in for site plan and back a while ago? He was, yeah. and we approved the site plan. Yeah. Which is not one that's signed here, but... I think it for what, March, but did we approve it that time? For a bigger building. So you want to go smaller now? He just wants to go smaller. <coughs> he had thought bigger things then, now he's thinking he needs a place for a workshop to work on his own trucks and stuff like that, store stuff out of the weather. Maybe it's the same thing that... Uh, well, the village is to well, no, no, not really, because here is your the plastic coated here. Yeah. The railroad bridge is down here. Yep. Yeah. He wants to go down here and build that. Yeah. Um, but is that where the other one was approved already? Yes. This one has been approved. He's going to go smaller. But there is no dimensions on this. And I'd have to. Hmm. I didn't the original. We approved it. It was a different place on the land. No, I'm saying this one is going to have small. 40 by 60. 40 by 60. So, does it make a difference if there's small? Not really, just to do it. Well, I, I asked them to come in. I, I thought there shouldn't be any problem with it where he's going smaller. But I also said that it's not up to me completely. Um, I would hope. If we, I could see it if he wanted to build a bigger building, <coughs> I would say yes, he needs to amend it. But as long as it's in the uh, footprint of uh, what was approved previously. Correct. Right, you should just need a building for that. That's my opinion. Yeah. But I mean, I want to just... Isn't that uh, originally it was 60 by 80. 60 by 80. 60 by 80. Yeah. 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 It's in the same yeah. footprint you don't need to come in here. It's it was smaller. 60 by 80 with a 20 foot uh, lean to off one side if you want to see it. Maybe submit a NAS built or something afterwards. But actually, I would get the end built. Yeah. yeah. And he has an, a, a stormwater runoff plan as well as an approved septic plan already. Right. Well, that's all in here. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and that's all in here. No, I don't want to approve a pull the board. I want the board either to say yes or no. Uh, as well, a, and on. so that we don't have a problem down the road that. As long as he stays under. Well, let me. Wait a minute. What was the original? 60 by 80. 60 by 80 with a 20 by 80 foot shed roof up, or carport basically up one side. Is he still doing the carport? Potentially subject to costs of the overall building and, and where we go from there. So it's not going to change the footprint, well, it's just going to make it smaller. No, it's getting smaller either way. And the proposed footprint is? It would, the new one would be 40 by 60. Basically half of it, yeah. And then a 60, it would be a 60 then foot carport. I say we yeah, just think it's like 14 or so. Yeah. As long as he stays small in the same footprint, he's okay. Mm -hmm. Get a mass built. Mm -hmm. that, would, that would be my motion. And then he gets an as built. I would accept that motion. What's that? And then he gets an as built. Right. Yeah, that would that'll work. Add that to the motion, please. Uh, to make a motion that he, as uh, long as he stays in the same footprint in the same area, that uh, he does not need to change his site plan and add the what to it now? As long as, as he uh, brings us an asphalt. Right. Bringing the, whatever I can't pronounce that. Right. He would do that with the building. And the asphalt dry. Dry. Motion adopted. Second. 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 Second.
remained second as to this, as long as he stays within the footprint of the original site plan. And no more additions that, uh, that he does not need a new site plan. Mm -hmm. An amended site plan. It decreases us. And that's the motion on the floor. I'll second. No, this, I'm just saying what it's the been. motion was. Any discussion on it? <coughs> if we have no discussion, I call for a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Connie, Roy, Rick, Rick, and myself were there. I look. <laughs> it's an old pit. <laughs> Did you look, Peter? When I drove by, I peek in. You were Boy, liar. With well, eyesight. <laughs> yeah. A long peek. <laughs> I watch you play deer hunting park, because you've got to see the deer better than me. You've got to see it that far. Somebody's got the pictures around here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Oh, uh, your turn goes stand in the corner. Yeah. Dennis, you want to see a cop? Uh, those are pictures of it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're all yeah. Riveting. Old. Oh, okay. Dennis, the riveting photos. Awesome. It looks a little bit better, but not a lot. Watch, watch the one in the I middle. I completely forgot. Watch hey, the one in the middle. Yeah, there's... What's in the middle? It's actually in better shape than the one that the EPA and the state are, state approved right next to the old shoreline. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But uh, my personal feeling is we put a bunch of wood chips down. Oh, don't disturb the piles. Cover the pile with wood chips because there's a lot of growth around it. Put the wood chips around the growth about six inches. And call it good at this point because other anything you do is going to disturb the vegetation growth. 
instead of just leaving those piles of dirt that are in there. I just cover them so they're all your stuff growing on If you disturb them, they pull up other trees that are growing. I disagree with it. I think he disagrees with it. I think the gravel should be pushed over the asphalt. And if they use the dozer, then it'll break up the asphalt. And yeah. those pictures, there has been very, very little change since those pictures were taken two years ago. These were taken two years ago, Tom? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So you can see. First I took them. That at certain spots, you right. have good growth. Yeah. But where that asphalt is, and very little. Very little, and what is there is dying. Yeah. But my opinion is because six inches of chips are the asphalt, it's going to grow anyways. There's no moisture. That's the biggest trouble. There's no, no, no moisture. Yeah. It's your low areas that are growing the best. And your banks. Because yeah, but the, the, it's, the, it's the mulch will create a free star yeah. action. In there. I, th I think dirty wood chips, I wood, wood chipper from down. tree jobs. Six inches all over, a hand, well, by hand work in my opinion. Six inches over the piles. <laughs> Call it good, let, let the town do more. Kind of my mom. Dennis. We can get it done for the budget, yeah. That's how we're going to do it. You have a question? Yeah, I, I... He seems to think that the piles should be right. I, I, w I would think that you'd want to at least level them off some so that... Uh, no. There was a, a pile. Bit. There was a pile by... The trailer, which is not shown in there. Small pile. It's a small pile. It would take about two pushes to push that against the bank and, and leave it. The larger pile that you can see, I would try to spread it. There are some valleys in where the asphalt is, and I would try to level it off a little bit, try to break up the asphalt so that, that you couldn't cover. And like Roy says, well, put the chips on. All right, you can get somebody to put the chips on. The third pile, which is on the banking to the state property on the left-hand side, I would leave it. Mm -hmm. yeah. The big banking on the back, I would have the whole site that where anything is bare Most. to be uh, have sprayed with I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, well, like a hydro seed or something? Hydro seed. Yeah. Uh, like a hydro seed. Yeah, there's a, uh, a, a seed that uh, was designed that'll grow right on uh, sand and grow. about anything. Yeah. Sand uses it all the time. Right. Uh, it's a little pricey, but it, uh, after yeah, a couple I mean, of years. That's why everything else looks really, I mean, looks great, you know, as far as putting like the sense of If you start going to hydro seed and stuff, you're going to be over budget, stuff. not going to get I get a deal because they're close folks. <laughs> right try it. It ain't gonna happen. But I, I just think those are I, I agree with uh, Dennis and Connie. Uh, That's fine, there. but when you put a bowl holder in there, you know they're gonna back all the stuff that's going. Yeah. And you're gonna do more damage than you got you just yeah. catched up. The question, the question is what are they gonna damage? They're gonna damage the all the stuff in the back side. You walk around the back side, there's a lot of growth in the back of that pile. The, the whole problem is, is uh, there's only 6,842. That's my point. Oh, there isn't. There's a lot of growth in the back of that pile. There's bamboo, there's young pine, mm -hmm. there's young birch in the back of that mm -hmm. pile. You can walk around the back side. With, and don't show it. With the state, with the town, I believe that the selectmen, we didn't pay $4,200 to Lakes Region. That could be added in, I believe. Is that right, Sam? I don't know. You would have to ask how that would work. Oh. But whatever so we spend, them, we can move those around. Whatever we spend will go against, will be we'll leaned be against the property, period. Mm -hmm. Now, doesn't the town already have a lien for uh, the uh, fines and stuff on? Uh, that's a legal question. I can't answer it. You can't get into that, anyways. Uh. But they can. They can right. leave in property. Right. Well, it just seems like down the road it would make a big difference in the sale of the property if that was leveled off. It would be As commercial, they're not going to care about a dirt plant. You got to see the rest it's of it. Still, well, the, rest, the rest of it's all stones and boulders. That's before 
we took the, the zoning and the stuff, and this is nothing compared to reference in pretty good shape. The, uh, yeah, the you current start, you start putting the machine out the there, rules. you're going to cost more money. But you need small landscaping equipment, so he was willing to do a lot of hand work, and you know, you know, you know, and the budget, I think. The other way to do it. You want to do. The other way to do it would be to spread the piles, and they would have to reseed. Mm -hmm. Whatever they. To me, a lot. To me, a lot of the vegetation, which is in tree form, are the first. Then reoccupy a clear cut piece, birch poplar. And that's what is there. Birch poplar and a lot of pine. And the pine, yeah. There is very many pine, except in the back. On the left hand side, you have a great deal going down to the bank. I wouldn't touch that. Right. The but I the would pine. have it. The back bank is which is very bare in those pictures. Hydro seated and they, um, one of the requirements for the bid would be to seed it, period. Mm -hmm. Whether we specify what type of seed and on the banking, um, right. whether it would have to have, to have the rolled Green seed, which is just yeah. Uh, the jute thatching uh, is problematic. If it's going to be seeded, I think it should just be hydro seeded. Well, I mean that's all we can put it out to bid yeah. and let somebody else decide what they're going to do. And bring it to us. One suggestion, Connie, is that perhaps in the bid document we also mention that any saplings over. 24 inches tall or whatever have to remain and they have to take care of not crushing them or whatever. you got a lot of stuff that's 8, 10 inches. Yeah, I, I think we should Well, whatever that number is. Uh, I, I think we, I think you need to put out the bid, specify it needs to be done. And I think it should be a fair amount of hand work and small equipment. Yeah. What, whatever the height is, if, if you, you determine. If you don't, it's going to get stove up. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm old school, so hand work don't bother people like me. But I'm telling you, it's why it should be done. I have the problem that we are asking someone to go in and reclaim that. And you're going to tell them exactly how to do it and piecemeal it. Yeah, and pick by pick. Well, then we might all let it go like it is and just drop it's it. It's not growing. Yeah, that's my point. It, it, it's got a lot of stuff growing. And you're saying there's a lot of stuff ain't dead that is there. It's not growing right. Look at the pictures, look at it. I've been there. down here for Christ's sakes half a dozen times. Down. I know what's down there. And I'm telling you that it's there is no I'm growing. telling you, you're claiming there's less than there is. There's, there's a lot of bad spots, a lot of good spots. But if you go down here and start pushing in piles around the bolos, you're going to screw up a lot of stuff that's already there. But you guys can do what you want to do. Well, and Connie is correct that we can't really tell them what to do because in contract terms, that's means and methods, and that's, you just don't You can specify methods. what you want done to bid. But that's tell them how to do it. You tell them what to do, but you can't tell them how to do it. Correct. You can tell them how you want it done. You can't tell them what to do because they come out and become a town employee. <laughs> you tell them what you want for specs, then you walk away from it, and it's their job. If you're down here micromanaging, then they become an employee. That's how the law works. I'm self-employed. Take this. Excuse me for a minute. We'll turn for a couple of minutes. Well, you selectmen are asking for the bids. What we want for specifications. The longer that we go, the less time that a person can bid, and you have to give them a certain period of time to. Re redeem it or reclaim it, whatever you want to call it. And now you're into September before you get it to the bid. Then you have another week. So it's the second, second week in September 
that they put the bids out, the bids have to go out for at least 15 days. Mm -hmm. Now you're into October right. before you can award it. So what's going to grow in October? So <laughs> it's either going to be done this year or it's going to... I, I think we ought to wait till spring from just from the standpoint of the growth period because if we wait until October you're not going to get much growth if you're hydro seeding or anything like that. Well, the federal government says that you can't seed after the first of November. Right. right. That's one of their rules. So, yeah. if you want to table it and speak, uh, come up with ideas, I would say that that was what we should do is let everybody think about it for um, until September 5th. Come in with ideas, and I think anybody that hasn't been out there recently should take a ride out there. Yeah, I couldn't make it tonight. I had to work, so I will make a point of getting out there. I think these pictures do it for me. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Next week, Richard. Bring the bottom of You got the key to the gate? No gate. Yeah, that's the drive right straight. That's the drive that has the state property sign on it. I guess we're in the wrong part. <laughs> when you go up 28, David. <coughs> Dennis, you come to the one that's got the bars, yep. then you come to Johnson's house, the big yellow house on the top, yep. then there's another driveway that goes around in the back and goes to Johnson's property. The next driveway on the right says state property, no trespassing, on the wrong side because that side is more sped, should be on the other side, but and you go in that, there's 11 point something acres there. The acre and a half that we're talking about is <coughs> way at the back, you'll see a row of, you can see it all in the pictures. Okay, so this is up beyond the one below the yellow house. Yes. It borders, when you go into it, it borders that one. Okay, and this, this uh, box trail is stuck in there, right? No. No. no a they're all there now? Well, give me a call, I'll take you out some night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Yeah, yeah the no, little, you can't miss the state call, sign, it. and it's a fairly narrow, it looks like a little driveway to somebody's house. It's pretty small. Yeah. What you're seeing, Dennis, is the old fair pit. That was right. the way the buys are. Yeah. Went back in there when Ron Fair owned it in Snyder. And that's the one that the state and federal said, oh, it's all cleaned up. Go ahead. <laughs> and this guy bought it. The guy that put the gate on it. He also owns my... Well, you weren't here, but he came in. And Knox Mountain, he owned 50 acres. He wanted to split it. Subdivided into two pieces and merged two lots in Knox Mountain so that the people had entrance ways to the 500, uh, 50 acres. Yeah, if you did. He did. You, you'll know, you'll know you're at the right spot when you drive in there and it opens up and there's an old trailer off to the right and it's been abandoned there. I, I know where you're at now. Yeah. I, I, was, I was thinking it was down below. Yeah. All right. Do we need to make a motion, Connie, to continue this until the fifth? Well, we know it's, yeah, fine. You may. I make a motion that we continue this till the fifth so that okay. two okay. of our so members can have time to visit the site, and any of us that need to go back. Second. Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. <coughs> You guys want to go out? I'll take you out. You'll have to buy me dinner first, sir. Oh, I'm taking the gun with him. I'm cheap. I'm going to have to you guys a couple of weeks ago. But... Table I am tabling revisions of rules and procedures and Revision of the bylaws until 
September 20th. We have published several publications, notice of decision on case number 17-3, motion for rehearing, Bachman was denied, head administration motion on a rehearing by the ZBA. Which one is that? I'm sorry, what is that? Bachman. It's open. It is over uh, on Old Broadbank. Oh, okay. He put a garage, one of those collapsible garages right. in. And it's, um, he didn't show up for the hearing. Right. And he's asking for a variance, but the attorney asked for something else, and it's. <laughs> so that's going to zoning now? It no, it's in court. court. Oh, it did already. Okay, that's right. That's right. It's in court. New Hampshire. Yes. They're having a field day. I invite you to a field day about state owned land certification on September 22nd in Lancaster, New Hampshire. Field day participants will learn about the certification of state owned lands and how the sustainable forest into it, yeah. They don't have a copy. Read it. <laughs> I can. Right. 22nd, 8.30 to 4. You have a copy in your packet. Mm -hmm. 8.30 to 4. Okay. We have a letter from August 13th through a philosophy planning and zoning boards of appeals from Harry C. Murrow. Subject to my 22-acre lot on Route 25 by the Masonic Lodge. Mm. White Horse has asked me to ask me if they could discuss possible uses with the board prior to any agreement between us. I, I have no objection. Short and sweet. White. Uh, yeah. Harry owns, if you go down 25, where uh, there used to be a pottery on the corner of Pequonka Trail mm -hmm. and 25. The piece between that piece and the Masonic home is 22 acres. And White Horse wants to put in multiple home, homes. And they're going to have to get zoning permission and our permission. Mm -hmm. I'll for an informal discussion if they want. Informal discussion if they want, right? They, they have been in once about it. If you remember correctly, it was a while ago. June. Yeah. Or sometime in June. Or like May. No. They can't really make up their mind what they're going to do. Beaver sent us a letter to Mr. Morgan, who was our yeah, board of selectmen. Have you read that? It has nothing. It's the way it is. It says, using this information we collected during discovery process following rivers, etc., in the Winnipesaukee watershed, we're selected for detailed studies. <laughs> and then you go on. To the detailed study reached reaches in the watershed. Osby is never even listed. No. We're not in the No, I don't think Osby is in any of that watershed, correct? That is yeah. Winnipesaukee yeah. watershed, yeah. not us. Yeah. But the letter, the, hill. Said, the letter says it, it discussed our town. It discussed the town. We can't figure out why. Yeah, because there's no sliver even at the far reaches of Osby that are in that watershed anyway. Why would anyway. they discuss Osby? Probably a bunch of hillbilly hippies. Probably because they're in, they're in the, uh, the uh, Lakes region planning. Now this is FEMA. Yeah, but that, that uh, was discussed there at uh, many of the uh, 
Lake's region uh, mm. meetings. And they had representatives from there uh, making presentations. And we have a letter from DES which alteration of permit application has been, uh, it says in need of further information relative to seasonal high water table, which is not true because they sent them an alteration of approval. Mm -hmm. Well, this letter which, came in first. I know. Before the, and we, the, the we got it. <laughs> we got the alteration from it today. <coughs> That's all set. Let up see the email. <coughs> Any other business come before this board? Yeah, both of them adjourn. No. Oh, oh. No, <laughs> yes, sir. No, I just wanted to remind you that if a quorum of the board goes somewhere to look at the gravel pits or whatever, I would request that you post that. Even if you don't have a quorum, hey, I can bring the camera with me, so if anybody can't show, they can actually see what you saw down there. It was on our agenda and in on. our minutes from last month that we would meet there at 6 o'clock. It was voted on to go there. Yeah. Is that here? Some of us just forgot. I know, it's just, it's just not it's actually posted. I'm just saying okay. do it just so I can bring my camera there so people who cannot attend can see the area. Well, you could have come, but you, you were told last week. I, I didn't know about it because it wasn't on the calendar. It's not posted. It, it was, was posted on the calendar. I'm just oh. asking. Just somebody, just tell me <coughs> it so I can videotape it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyway, I made a motion. Wait a minute. Or you can have. That was too long. No, it was just in the minutes, Ed, so I'm sorry. <coughs> Roy will take you out there. I may not make it back. <laughs> I was going to just say that. <laughs> I took a whip right out of my mouth. Oh, bro. oh brother. Yeah, but you got the gun. She well, got the. We, may, we usually have both have the gun, so it may not end well. I have a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 All those, all any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor say, raise your hand. I just think. Would you stay after? Yeah, you get to stay in the corner, Pete. <laughs>